Hi, I'm Michael Flores from PT Connections, and I, um, I actually had a special request to talk a little bit about the sciatic nerve and uh, just a quick stretch that you can do for it. Last week I did one for the median nerve, so check that one out if you have any if you have any problems with that nerve too. But uh, today is all about the sciatic nerve, um, and if you've had it, you know it, it can hurt. It can be pretty bad. Anything from pain in your in your cheek all the way down to the back side of your leg, calf in the bottom of the foot, it can be some pretty nasty stuff. So if you've ever had any of that, feel free to watch the whole video, pick up a couple tips and tricks, and then um, call us if you have any questions. But um, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can do it. I would say the, the simplest way would just be with just a regular belt. Um, you can use, well, you can use anything if you want, uh, a rope, a dog leash, doesn't matter. Just something that you could put onto your foot, right on the ball of your foot. So what I'd like to do, think of it like if you had the whole nerve and the whole nerve was made out of a string or a rubber band, something flexible like that, you could imagine that, that string all the way from the bottom of your foot goes back behind your foot, your heel, your calf, your hamstrings, all the way up to your hips. You could imagine that string if I flexed my foot upwards, can you see how that would put tension on that, that string? Same thing if I raise my leg up, that would also put tension across that entire string. So not only do I have tension here, but now I have tension there. That's like a double tension. We don't, if you wanna glide this nerve, you don't really want a double tension. There are sometimes we do stretch it, but if it's, a, if it's already severe enough, uh, just pain-wise, you don't wanna get a double tension here and here. So what I would do, if I want to maintain tension here, but ease tension there, you just point your toe. So now that's got a little bit of slack, but I'm still tense here. Um, reverse, reverse the whole thing on the way down. So as I come down, now I'm loose, lax here, but I built tension on my foot as I drop, or as I pull my foot up towards my shin. So let me do it one more time for you. I'll do it a couple times. So tension, tension, tension. Release the tension by pointing your toe forward. Pull your toe back. Toe forward. Come back. To get more of like a three-dimensional stretch on it, you could turn your foot out inwards or outwards. So I'll do the same thing here. Point your toe. Come on back. Or you could turn it outwards. Point your toe. Come on back. Um, so that's the first way that you could do it. Uh, you can even do that one lying down. This is the same concept, just lying down. It depends what's more comfortable for you. The other way I like to do it, you can just cross your hands behind your back. You'll slouch a little bit. This is the only time you're gonna hear a PT say to slouch. So take advantage of it. So I'm gonna slouch, same concept here. I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest this time though. And as I bring my foot up, same concept. You could do just the foot. This gives you a little bit more of a stretch. You know that string that we talked about earlier? Well, that string technically ties into your spinal cord and all the way up your back, all the way up your neck to the top of your head. So technically when you slouch, you're stretching your whole spinal cord, the dura, that's like the wrapping around it. So you're stretching that whole thing. It's a little more intense this way. So try the other one first and then get into this one. But I'll show you this way. There, point your toe, come down. Option two, don't worry about what the foot's doing, coordinate your foot with your head. So here's option two. Raise your leg up. When your leg comes up, your head comes up. But I'm still slouched. Head goes down, leg goes down. One more time. Foot up, head up. Foot down, head down. So those are, um, two basic nerve glides that you can do. If anything hurts, uh, please don't do it. You don't wanna make it worse. Definitely give us a call over here at PT Connections. Uh, but otherwise, um, that's it for the sciatic nerve. We do have a workshop coming up on March 22nd at six o'clock. Michael Coffey, our massage therapist, is doing a, um, a workshop talking about TMJ problems. So anything wrong with your jaw, your neck, headaches, that tension, that sort of thing. Uh, so feel free to come to that. It's a free, it's a free event. It's, um, it's definitely worth coming to if you have any of that kind of issue. But otherwise, once again, 
Michael Flores here at PT Connections. Uh, thanks for watching.